it again. We left the top card at the 2010 USDGC standing on the seventh tee. Let's head back there now and watch Nico LoCastro and Will Schusterich play hot potato with the lead. Nursing the same two throw lead he started the round with. Will Schusterich runs afoul of the bamboo and won't have much to work with here. Nico and Will both sit at four under for the round. And only disaster by both would bring the other contenders into the mix. Nico won't like that one. <laughs> Leave it to the also rans to spice things up. Yusi finds a way to get a backhand onto the playing surface using the high line. Yeah. MJ takes his backhand right up the gut. Will had much the same shot as Nico. Both lay up for easy pars. Deuces for both MJ and UC. This is Will's fourth trip here. His best finish to date has been 20th. Tournament shaping up right now into a battle between Will Schusterich and Nicola Castro. There's a great big gallery ganging up here on hole eight. Two stroke margin with 10 to play. Here's the scores on the top guard through hole seven. And as we know here with all this yellow rope, anything could go wrong at any time. No lead is safe. There was a pause as the players waited for the group ahead to get clear. Too much standing around. Thinking about things could be tough on folks. This is a pure par four. Getting the first one in the fairway is critical, but a player can seal a birdie with a good second shot, or not. Yusi tries the forehand, but he turns it over too much. The leaders were both well up the fairway for their approach shots. MJ will take a par while UC cashes his birdie. Put to UC. If the leaders are nervous, at least their short putts haven't shown it. A couple of nice threes for our leaders. No change, two strokes separate Nico from the leader, Will Schusterich. UC hangs on to honors here on the ninth. You can hear our pal Billy Crump in the background occasionally as he lays down the commentary for his lead group live production. This one winds along the back of the school's baseball stadium before turning left towards an elevated basket near the house of Winthrop University's president. All four players are in fine shape to approach the putting surface. Spotter's flag means everything. With throw and distance in place, any error would be compounded. Fritz, Fritz.
putting clinic continues. Whoops, spoke too soon. And that will lead into the two throw lead that Will had. He'll now lead by one for Nico. the front half of the course we're standing on let's keep our whole 10 bit of a delay here yeah they're relining the entire length of this hole there are two ways to play this hole UC takes the safer way last year Nico bombed his drives here right at the green but things have changed this year and he tries the conservative route as well just barely. This is not supposed to be fired. Layups are the order of the day here. Hole 10. Throw and distance rule in place. There's nobody choosing to make a run at the green. And it's not like playing out to the left leaves players an easy shot to this elevated basket. These shots are probably in the 300 foot range, give or take, over out of bounds. Yeah, well. yeah. It's easy enough to skip out of bounds here on this closely mown surface. A bit short with his approach. Will's put a lot of pressure on his putting game. This fellow is quietly putting together a nice round. Looking to hold on to third place. That moves him to seven under for the day. This is a great angle to watch Nico's putting style. The staggered stance allows him to easily reach well back as he starts his putting motion. Yeah, Nico. There's a big putt here on 10 to pull him into a tie for the lead. Will making his par here. Unfortunately, that will not keep pace with Nico, who has tied him for the lead here at the 2010 United States Championship in Rock Hill, South Carolina. So we've got a tie game on our hands as the lead players once again wait and think. Up ahead, Steve Brinster is scorching hot, coming off an eagle two on the last hole and on his way to a 12 under. Keeping inside the ropes is, of course, critical here. We haven't seen anything out of bounds by the lead foursome yet this round, but if someone were to stray, the penalty is severe. No longer does a player advance to where he crossed out of bounds. He would again play from the same spot with a one throw penalty. And with the battle between Nico and Will all square, one errant throw could make all the difference. Will took a conservative route off the tee and is first to face this tricky second shot.
tell they hate MJ around here. MJ converts his birdie three, while Nico needs this to save par. Michael Johansson had a three for a birdie. Take the tee pad. Nico recorded a bogey. Will Schuster had a par, so he again has a one throw advantage. For Nico to boom on here, he, he tends to uh, get fired up with mistakes, and this is an eagle opportunity. Down by a throw, looks like the opportunity for Nico to make a run at an eagle here. Buddy lays up. Well, he's going to lay up as well. He restrained play. Uh oh. Flirting with it. Flirting with it. And oh. That's trouble. We're going to throw in a layup. And that's got to hurt. Oh my goodness. Tournament will end for a guy here. He's not careful. He's got to get his head together. Oh, he's going to be in bad shape after this hole. Ironically, Will was trying to lay up just as Nico had. Not trying to be a hero. But it didn't work out. Two throws OB. So he's looking at a big deficit all of a sudden. And then it's from there on out, it's going to be Nico's turn to uh, just try to avoid disaster, and the tournament will be hit. Trouble. Trouble for Will. Two throws OB. So our young heroes take the tee on the 13th after a big flip-flop. Always fear 888. Nico's finally in the lead again after being caught and passed by Will during the previous round. Will's head has to be spinning. That first OB shot hadn't been that bad, but a fluky uphill skip had sent him out of bounds. He needs to put it all aside and concentrate on things one throw at a time. Most players here play for one of the gaps. Just choose a gap. And play from there. Key in the second shot here is to get in position to cross over to the island green. All right. Second shot for Nico. After two well-placed shots, the key to converting a birdie on this par five is the third shot. A big skip was key last hole. This hole, it was Nico with the big skipper. He 
cleared the curb, but left himself more work than he wanted. Will got uh, one of the three throws he's trailing by back on this one, so he now trails Nico by two, going up to hole 14. And we're back where we started our day. The tension is palpable. The crickets even stopped to catch the action. Will keeps it in play, but that's no birdie chance. And if Nico has a nightmare where he's forever replaying one hole, this just might be the one. You gotta believe he's replayed these shots a few times in his head. Bit of a turnaround there. A couple holes ago, it was Will throwing OB a couple times to fall well behind, and Nico has thrown it right back in Will's lap by throwing a couple out of bounds here on the much easier hole 14. Got a match. Will just laid up as well from over there. No sense in being a hero here. was looking for something to love on that hole, but instead it's a story of unhappiness. Nico threw a couple out of bounds, and we'll have a big swing here. Well, she's going to find herself once again in the lead of this tournament. Only a handful of holes left. The 15th is a challenge to try to tape, so we'll just catch the drives and await the group on the other end. Again, over the last three holes, Will Schusterich and Nicola Castro traded disaster holes, and Will has a two throw lead with four holes remaining. There's a diverse crowd on hand today. Hi, I'm Lee's Chicken. You want to discount five? Thank you, Lee's Chicken. Will's got a two throw lead still after the 15. No change there. We'll pick things up as Will and Nico face deuce putts on 16. Everyone made a birdie back on 15. Yeah. Yeah. Will. Can't catch a man who's getting birdies. Yeah. 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 Nico. Two throw differential. Going into the final pair of holes. Both brought without a bound. A little layup for Will. A man from Knoxville, Tennessee. Taking no chances here. Nicola Castro, on the other hand, trails by a pair and has to get something back. Oh, a matter of inches, and that about does it. Unless Will has big trouble with his second shot here or on 18. He's got this one in the bag. He's looking a little short as well. No, he's gonna make it, no problem. UC has played well, but the birdie he sets up here will be enough to fend off the hard-charging Steve Brinster. UC will finish in fourth with a minus seven today. Will Schuster, if you can put this in, he's got to tackle just 18 and then he's home with the 2010 United States Championship. There he goes, 15, 20 feet. Here's a sweet putt from Michael Joe. for MJ. After another birdie on 18, he'll go on to finish at seven under for the day. Tied for pick. Oh. Yeah. For Will. Feeling it. Nico. A 
couple unforced errors here, a couple OBs. Finishing stretch of holes, so the difference. Stroke and distance rule, big factor here. Will's gonna carry a three throw margin into the last hole. 560 feet separate Schuster it from the ring. about the layups here in 18. That's all it takes. Will has got it in the bag. You'll see some celebrating here in a minute. Will was looking for a bust out event and there is no bigger event to bust out with than the United States Disc Golf Championship. There's Michael J finishing out, crowd favorite. Busey getting out of the way. And there's your United States champion, Will Busey, getting a little love. Down, 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 down. Ooh. Any other hole, that would have been a really nice shot. I believe there's a large drop off over there. Just that green stuff. Beauty. Wow. Nice, Joe. 